Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm Stephanie and we're going to work on painting the covers for my brand new coloring book, Cottages and Homes, that's now available on Amazon. I am really excited. But when I was painting this cover, I hadn't done the actual upload of the coloring book yet. So this was before the coloring book was released and I needed to get the covers done. I printed them out on 140 pound watercolor paper by Arteza and I'm using the 12 pan watercolor pan set from Arteza. Any of the materials I use are listed down below in the more information and there is an affiliate link for Arteza and for Amazon. So I do make a small commission from those. Uh, I am going to be using a heat tool from time to time to dry. And the brush I'm using is the Zen Art number 10 round brush. I just got these brushes and this was the very first time that I'm using it. So I am going to just give you a real quick rundown what I'm doing. I am going to wet the background, put in the sky. I'm then going to put in the foreground. And after that, I will start focusing on the turret house. And then I will go and do the house with the stone fireplace. This is pretty much going to be just uh, listen to some music watch the painting go in and if you have any questions for me make sure and leave them in the comments below the video and let me know if you like the speed up videos i um, just needed to get this done i'm not going to be able to do live streams as often because of some stuff going on with my family right now and i need to have some flexibility in my schedule so pre-recorded videos but i can do real-time pre-recorded videos if that is something you guys want so now i'm just going to start laying in the bushes laying in the foregrounds and when i start working on the houses is when i will focus just on one house then the other So this is one of those fun, fun houses to do. The stonework, um, although I kept it very minimal on here, this is actually a stone cottage with a turret. It's only two stories. It's not super, super huge, but it looks like a little fairy tale place and I love it. And uh, yeah, these are two houses that would never be on the same block, but boy, they sure make me happy.
I just wanted to uh, mention here that yes, some of the ink that this was printed with did bleed while I was doing the painting. And the ink on my printer doesn't bleed super, super bad usually, but I think I printed on the wrong side of my Arteza 140 pound watercolor paper. And I was printing with my Canon printer. The ink actually sort of separates into colors, kind of like the Elegant Writer calligraphy pens. So it's, although it's a bit of a pain that it was bleeding, it only bled into where the paper was wet. So it was bleeding to the inside of the lines of the cottage or the building. So it's one of those kind of weird little things, but it works out. And now doing the details around the windows, the fine point on this brush, oh my goodness, was so perfect. The brush holds quite a bit of paint. It is a faux squirrel brush. It does have a nice little snap to it and it holds a ton of pa paint and water. So I can continue painting for quite a long time. I really, really enjoyed using this brush during this. And it was sent to me for free uh, just to try out. And they didn't even ask for any review or a video or anything like that. So I'm reserving judgment, but right now I kind of like this brush. And so it's the Zen Art brush. And it came in a pack of six brushes. I think it would be around $30 for the brush set. And I haven't tried out any of the other brushes yet. I'm kind of excited to do that though. This painting, I am not necessarily as precise with the placement of my colors. And for me, I think that's okay. It shows that this was being done 
not by a machine and that I didn't do it digitally this time. And I think that the finished painting actually looks better for having a few little lines that sort of flow a little bit wider than the printing. I like it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you like this style of drawing and painting. That Let me know also if you like coloring books that have room for your imagination to be used. And now we're going to get started on the next painting. When you're painting in the windows, make sure and leave some little white sparkles of light. It looks like reflections of other things in the environment, and it just gives it a sense of place. I really like that. I am so excited. This is getting down to the finishing touches, those refining some of the shadows, putting some details in. I did use a little bit of silver gouache 
to just sort of detail out the metalworking bits and a little bit of a pearl white on the roses and that's a pearl white gouache pearl white rose and it worked out really well just to give a little bit of detail I am so excited for you to check out that book cottages and homes coloring book for adults on Amazon this is going to be so much fun let me know if you want to see some real-time coloring on a live stream or just some real-time coloring on my channel I would love to know what you think. I hope that you enjoyed just hanging out as I painted and that you had a lovely quiet time just enjoying a creative moment. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you being here. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share. And if you have any suggestions for things you would like to see me do, make sure and leave a comment. That really, really helps me out. Remember, go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. I want to see you back here again really soon. Bye-bye.